So a couple years back, my wife and the family and I used to live in uh, the Red Mill Commons area. And, uh, you know, exploring the area, kind of seeing what was going on, I found this spot called, at the time, it was the Tar Roof. Now, it's called Sawdust Road. And those are my homies in there. I love them, Eddie, Tina, and the team. They take care of me every time I come through, and the food is fantastic. So, we're gonna go take a look and see what's going on inside today. each other, strangers, you can get stuck behind a tractor or somebody hauling hay and it's a, it's a different lifestyle. So we're really proud of the product we have. We've got really good coffee, really good sandwiches, but for us, at the end of the day, it's just a, uh, a product. And what we really like is creating a space where people feel at home and we develop relationships, learn their names. And for us, whether you live here or you're entering Pungo, things kind of slow down as soon as you pass the intersection. Kind of just fit within that Pungo vibe that any stranger can get just by driving out here. Kicking it at Pungo Board House and Sawdust Road. The homies Tyler and Lee from Pilgrim Bread came through and I said, oh, funny running into you guys. He said, we're actually baking some bread today. You should come check us out. And I was like, uh, where? So here we are. Come on in. What's up, Lee? What up, man? What's up, man? This is awesome. This is so tight. Tanner father playing. Yeah. Yeah, baby. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. <laughs> what are you guys making right now? What kind of bread is this? This is our pilgrim dough. So we're just doing a little shaping for it. So it's like our, basically like our, um, it's our classic loaf. It's our sourdough, if you will. Okay. Everything we do is naturally leavened. And uh, this is actually featuring fresh milled um, Appalachian White. Okay. And we got the little milling station right over there. I love this. This is like grassroots as it gets, man. Out on the farm too. Yeah. So where, where are we? You mentioned we live here. 
Yeah, this is family home. This is my family farm. Nice. I've lived here my whole life, and I think we've probably been here for like 25 years. Yeah. 25 years before I was born. Nice. Um, but yeah, it's a beautiful place. My yeah. grandparents live here too. I got my aunts and uncles here too. The whole family. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got you in the bread again, Tyler? Uh, well, I was a music major, but yeah. it got like really heady for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm a big like hands-on, tactile type person. Yeah, I was studying music composition, okay. so a lot of the composition was in front of a screen, you know, using a writing software, mm -hmm. and um, and it just wasn't enough like tactile, tangible work. So I'm real into food, and I guess one thing led to another, man. How'd you get involved, Lee? I I got involved because. I was going to school at the time, Yeah. and you know, it was okay, it, didn't, it wasn't really for me, mm -hmm. but um, he, he hit me up one day and he told me about his idea to do the bakery, and I was just like, okay, you know, I was just like, <laughs> alright, I'm in, Nice. and so I um, I dropped out for the meantime, or, yeah, and then and we, and we did this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had to do some convincing, I was like, dude, school... If it's not for you, it's not for it's you. Not, that's exactly get your right. hands like you know in something. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly this is right. Date walnut lavender. Is that what's in the fridge now? The small yeah. baskets. Yeah, so this is the second batch. It looks all weird and crazy. There's like a room temperature proof that you can do, or you can do a um, like an overnight, like we're doing in the fridge. Yeah. So it's like a really slow fermentation. It makes the bread really perky and easier to load. So yeah, it's this one, it's just a 100% Redeemer from Pennsylvania. Um, Redeemer is just a hard red winter wheat variety. So it's 100% fresh milled over there, whole wheat. And uh, fresh milled right over there in the corner. Right over there, man. Yeah, we can show you the like mill setup. It's kind yeah. of fun. So these are mock mills. It's a German company made by Wolfgang Mock. Actually, I kind of want to just show you, and take it apart here. Okay. Yeah, why not? So these are really great, actually, at home. Man, like health-wise, you're getting the full nutrients from the grain, which a grain has so much. So it's just two stones, composite stones, and they're just turning. This one turns, and this one's stationary and the, the grain is dropped down into the hopper. So this is Appalachian White from Red Tail Grains in Eflin, North Carolina. Okay. Those guys are awesome. Yeah, there's, there's all these different like microbes that's matched in the fermentation process that breaks down the gluten to make it more agreeable. And so we've had like people who've had inflammation issues, yeah, gluten, and all that kind of stuff, but then also just regular like gut issues. And it's because that the like the process of the fast the bread. Yeah, yeah, commercial yeah. bread is like I've heard like, that's why people have this new gluten allergy, it's because the way that things are being produced now it's not yeah. natural or it's not the real Well we've process. evolved into like because forever, this is how bread was made. Right. It is long fermented. But then we, we established commercial yeast. Which Quaker. Is, yeah, one yeah. strain of yeast. And yeast is like, is a bacteria. There's millions of varieties, you know? Billions. And so we're like, this one strain is perfect for rising the bread really fast. And then you don't get the like, breakdown, fermentation. Yeah. And then there's all the like, going back to these guys. And it's like, this was grown organically. And so there's no pesticides, there's yeah. no like issues with the grain that they're growing, and they're taking longer time to grow really good grains right. instead of the like vaporized grains. That's what it's like, that's the convenience of it all and the commercialization of things. I appreciate the convenience sake of certain yeah. things. When you come to the point where you know it's not good for people or yeah. the efficient to cut those corners, then it's like an ethical problem. Like, yeah. Why are we continuing to do this through and through and we know the replicate, I guess the what can happen essentially. Oh yeah. So, and that like, for the longest time I thought, you know, this gluten allergy was bullshit. Yeah. And then now I'm hit with it, it's like, why? Yeah. Where is this coming from? And my friends are like, it's because of what you're eating. Yeah. What they're producing, how they're producing the foods. And it's becoming more real.
might come to Pongo and not visit New Earth Farms. Unfortunately, no one's home right now, but I definitely want to get a few shots of this beautiful space. So we're here, the Strawberry Festival of Pongo. I've been looking forward to this for a minute, and we're finally here. We're kind of rocking. It's okay though, we're not gonna fall out. You scared? You scared? Okay, here we go. What would you call this ride? The Dragon Escape. Oh, here we go. Oh, backwards? Backwards? Oh. Put your hands up. Sit right next to you, okay? okay. We don't fall out. I hope we don't fall out. That'd be something terrible, wouldn't it? Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> Dude, put your camera down. Never. Oh, one hand. Always camera running. Because you never know what you're going to get. Got your seatbelts tightened. I don't want you sliding out or Stop. anything. I don't want you sliding Stop. out. <laughs> loser. Oh, you? You the loser? Nah, you the loser. <laughs> oh, you want tickle fight? No, no, no tickle. Okay. What's next after this? Um, I'm telling you, man. We should go on the typhoon. No. Or that, that's the typhoon. No. no, or the hydra. I think it's called the hydra. We're going up. We're going up. All the way up. All the way up. Ready? You can put your hands up. Well, I can see mommy from here, but Leo. Wow. Whoa, look how high we are. It's not that scary. Put your hands up. No. Woo! What he just said. That doesn't look very fun, what do you think?
now that everybody's had their fun, it's time for Daddy to get his funnel cake on. Yes, Lennon. No, we're all out of tickets, bud. That's not, that's not a ride. Well, you still cost tickets. Yeah. Or it costs money, which I'm not paying for that. Big eat them giant corn dogs. I can't. Very caveman-ish, if you will. 